Don't fry this at home. Oops. What do you call that? Awesome? No, wait. Ultimate. I just bought that tent last week. You're in for it this time. Sorry, Grandpa Max. Oh, no big deal. Just gives me an excuse to visit the new sporting goods store when we get to town. Mm. Besides, that's what your allowance is for. I think six months worth or so should buy a really nice replacement. Grand opening tent sale. Maybe something in the three to four months allowance range. Guess we won't be finding out anytime soon. Looks like it's parade day. No way we're getting past that crowd. Nice. Looks fun. Let's check it out. It sure doesn't look like they're having fun. Yeah, and I see why. Is this the most fun ever, or is it just me? Oh, right! It is just me! Your happiness should be just about sucked dry by now. I gotta stop him. He's stealing people's happiness. I'm not happy about you going up against Zombozo alone. Yeah, that might not be such a great idea. It must already be affecting you guys. Don't worry. I got this. Well, look who's here. Luckily, I'm ready to do this time. Whoa, whoa. Yay! <laughs> I'd love to stick around for the fun, but I can't stand being around all these sad sacks. Take him, boys! Good work, Ben. But it looks like Zombozo got away. Yeah, and it looks like the townspeople are still down the dumps. Whatever Zombozo is doing to steal their happiness, he must still be doing it. How about you guys? You still happy? As much as we ever are when you're being all you. Uh, now is not the time. Gwen, tell Ben what you found. Right. Well, I noticed that there are a bunch of weird devices around here. They look like some kind of transmitter or relay. Huh? What? Sorry. Science nap. You were saying? I was saying that these relays or transmitters are... <coughs> that they might be what Zombozo is using to suck away people's happiness. Huh? I mean, yeah, that's why I was so bored. I figured that out, like, forever ago. Uh-huh. Ben, why don't you try to track down Zombozo and maybe look into finding a way to stop all of this? But what about the happiness sucker? Won't it, you know, suck my happiness too? The watch should protect you, but I'm taking Gwen back to the rust bucket. We should be safe from the effects in there. I'll be fine. You guys better get as far away as you can. Good idea. I feel happier already. Hey, clown face! Step away from the happiness sucker! It's called a buzzkill battery! Yeah, that is better. Anyway, you're finished, Zombozo! Actually, I'm just getting started. I'm just gonna catch you, you know! Yeah. You never give up, do you? Only on cleaning my room and at home. And this isn't either of those things. Right you are! It so happens you've dropped right into my favorite snare. The Wheel of Misfortune! You know I'm just gonna get out of your unnecessarily elaborate trap and kick your butt right. Or not! Am too! Or not, or not! Am too, am too! Or not! Just... <sighs> Ben, you did it! Nice work, Ben. Piece of cake. Which, by the way, I could go for about now. Oh, almost forgot. Your tent problems are officially solved. And this one is way roomier than the old one. Thanks, Ben. I hope you've learned something from this. Yeah, next time I'll be more careful when I'm testing out a new power. I might end up hurting more than a tent. It was a pretty cool power, though. I know, right? Wonder if all my forms have an ultimate power like that. Let's figure that out. Later. That'll teach you, stupid. Oh, if you keep doing that, you're only gonna make it mad. If you want my advice, which uh, I uh, do uh, not. Whatever. Just don't come crying to me when you get stung. After all the bad guys I've taken down, some of which are like a gazillion times the size of a bee, you should show some respect for my awesome moves. This seems like deja vu, or deja vu. 
Uh, but you really need to keep that ego in check, Ben. An inflated ego always gets in the way of success. Yeah, but this isn't about ego. It's about... Yeah! Bego. Ben! Aw, oh, come on. That's A-game pun material. Not worried about puns at the moment. Ooh. Little help? The bug gang. Don't worry, Gwen and Grandpa. What the... Before I introduce my next guest, me, let's have a big round of applause for... Oh, me! Boo! Boo! I'm having a really bad day! We'll be right back. Oh, man. I gotta find that place and rescue Gwen and Grandpa Max. <laughs> Whoa! Um, <clears throat> to be or not to be? Boo! Boo! Jeez, tough room. No, you walking water balloon. It's just my room. I'm about to make history with the highest rated live show featuring an insectoid host ever produced. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to put a damper on your plans. Boo! Oh, I don't think so. I have a feeling my ratings will go through the roof when I put you through the roof. Bring it on, Fee Lady. No need to thank me, world, but you're welcome. Um, Ben, hate to break it to you, but when you two started fighting, the transmitter was destroyed. Oh, man, then nobody saw it. We did, Ben, and you saved us, and all of these people. Right. All right, everyone. Selfie line forms to the right. No pushing and shoving. I'll make time for everybody. And it's what you do when nobody is watching and without expectation of a reward that's really important. Yeah. Sorry. Ego in check? Check. Guess we should call the police and pick up Queen Bee. Then we... I regret nothing! Whoa. This does not look good. I gotta do something to stop it. Not yet. We need to come up with a plan to deal with this. Let's get these people out of here and regroup at the campsite. I've never seen a storm this bad. Something's not right about this. It appeared too suddenly, and it's way too strong to be natural. Grandpa! Ben! I think I see somebody over that way. Come on, kids. They might need our help. Guess we should have known. Our successful return to this world has been followed by an equally successful start to our new terraforming initiative. I would be ecstatic about this turn of events if I felt emotions, which I do not. So much for investigating what they're up to. Gotta love villains who monologue. Nothing left now but the beatdown. We should feel shame at revealing our plans in such a stereotypical manner and concern for the approaching alien. If we felt shame or fear, which we do not. Come on, Grandpa. No, the storm is too dangerous. Let's head back to the rust bucket. Ben can handle this. Aw, oh, man. I should have known this was too easy. Hey, big guy. How's the weather up there? Your pun would lack humor, even if that were something I could appreciate. And I, Weatherhead Prime, would be filled with rage at your meddling if I felt rage, which... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you don't. I think you guys have pretty much beaten that into the ground at this point. No, the beating into the ground commences now! Oh boy. You cannot compensate for gravity and momentum. Block ending collision imminent. Yeah! Oh no! Ben! I don't see him. Do you see him? Ben! Somebody call for a hero. Ow! What was that for? For scaring us, that's what. So, um, don't do that again. We're just glad you're all right. All right? I was like super awesome. I was all like, bam! And giant robot guy was like, Rah! Then he was all like, I don't feel feelings. And I was like, bet you'll feel this! And then there's nothing we can do to shut you up, is there? Nope. <sighs> All right, you were saying? Where was I? Oh yeah, so I was like, you'll feel this, and he was like, boosh! 